What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev back again. Please ain't. <laughs> Today, man, we're gonna take a listen to the new Puyo album, Five Five, or is it a mixtape? Is it a pro project? This is gonna call it a project. Um, if y'all didn't know, man, I did the Puya Fat Nick. Uh, mixtape they had, I think it was in 2016. You know, they had School on Fire on the Project album cover. You know, what's crazy is like, I know what that high school is. That's Killian High School. So if he, if Puya actually went to Killian, you know, we were actually closer than I thought. Um, you know, that was one of the rival schools when I was in high school, you know, from Homestead and whatnot. But, but what happened was my camera died. I never finished that. I think I had like three tracks left on the review and I just never finished it. I still just have it archived in my, um, my computer. But today his focus is on the five for five project that he has here. Did I... I said five for five. Well, I'm fat as hell. Boy, nigga, boy, nigga is hungry. <laughs> the five five project that he released, uh, I think it was a week ago or five days ago. I don't know. I can't roll off the top of my head. But it's 11 tracks, man. I can't really hate on that. Y'all know how I feel about um, small EPs, small albums. I think that you know that's the way to go because you can get all your content you know in one sitting. You know you won't lose the interest of your listeners. Look, when I listened to Puya the first time around with Fat Nick. Look, I, I like the way he rapped. He had a very um, cool style. You know, he wasn't a mumble rapper. A lot of people said, you know, he, since he was underground, I thought he was going to be some kind of mumble rapper. But he did, you know, remind me of like uh, the Denzel Curry's and, and the Suicide Boys, you know, that kind of rap style, that dark rap. So I, I, I mess with him, you know what I'm saying? I like his vibe. I don't see color. That's another thing, too. You know, I knew he's a white dude with long hair, kind of, you know, with the same features like a Russ. But look, I don't look at him like that. You know what I'm saying? If you're just a rapper and you good, that's all I'm looking at, you know. I'm basing you off of your skills. You know what I'm saying? Your wordplay, stuff like that. So we're just going to take a listen to this, man. Like always, Ben. Fucking talking too much. Let's get right into this. We got Puya 5-5. Five, five. Y'all ready? <laughs> Alright, man. The first track is Aftershock. That's putting on for your city, man. Like you can't really. That, that's why I understand. Look, when you got stands from the hometown, like your hometown artists, that's why they get hometown love because they putting on for your city. So you can speak on like where I'm from, Miami, Memphis, New York, Oregon, Washington, wherever you're from, man. So you can rep your city. You know, in the project cover, man, he has an outcast shirt on, and you know what? I could kind of see where, you know, maybe he has an influence from um from Andre and Big Boy. You know, it does sound like that Equimini, you know, that that throwback Southern sound. Um, you know, he is from Miami, and you know, just from this track right here, even when I was listening to the old one, the, the that on fire, I think it was called on fire or whatever. Um, you could tell that he he def definitely has love for the city, man. You know, three hundred five all day, you know, in Dade County, that's you know, that's that's that's, that's the city. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like. He wants to put his city on, and he's doing his thing. Look, I ain't going to lie. Puyo might still be underground because, I mean, I've heard of him just because of y'all, but I haven't really heard of him other than that, other than just the underground scene. But I feel like right here, man, look, I don't see color. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see color, man. That, that's the thing, the problem we have in the world today, just because, oh, yeah, the, oh, he's rapping. Oh, first of all, is he black or white? Like, does, does that matter? You know what I'm saying? Like, let the man spitting, the man ripping, just love him for his music. Same shit goes for, like, Rich Chigga, stuff like that, man. Like, don't judge a person just by their color, man. Judge them by their skill set. And I feel like right here, Puya, man, he just gave you that vibe. Like, I feel like he was just this cool-ass rapper um, rapping over this cool-ass uh, beat. You know, it had the vibes, had a South feel, and I think that's what we really need, man. We do need um, artists from the South to bring it back because I feel like we don't have any more real rappers from the South, you know, other than, like, Crit. I mean, big, big name. Look, I don't mean to say, like, there's not a lot of rappers in the South. I'm just saying there's, like, not a lot of big name rappers, if that makes, you know, that makes sense. I'm just saying. But for the first track, man, Puya. I'm here. Now I'm interested. You see? Pull me in. I'm good. Track two, Void. Alive and I live and I'm trying to get with it. The size of my dick is not rising. I'm thinking to find a new women. The void that I'm feeling. The gas that I'm bridging. The piss that I'm gripping. I be thinking about no times. I'm just a big nanny woman to cuff from stuff from what the combustion. Back in the day, how you were so reluctant. Now you looking at me like you looking at your husband. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
okay. Yeah. Depends on that track, man. Like, y'all gotta understand. Look, I know where he coming from on that track, you know, Void. Um, I always say no matter no matter how far you go in life, the thing that we want as human beings is purpose. You know, you need to find your purpose in this world. I mean, you can have all the money, you can fuck all the bitches, you know, you can do all the drugs, you know, you can you know, whatever you want to do. You think you having fun, but if you know, if you don't have your main priority straight, which is family, friends, a team behind your back, you know what I'm saying, you lose sight of yourself. And you kind of like lose yourself in that game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, being alone. You know, you, you have that void within yourself. And I think that's what he was getting at. You know what I'm saying? You're alive, but you're really not alive. You know, you ever heard that saying? Because it's, it's true, man. Like, people don't really realize, people don't really realize the emptiness inside them. You know what I'm saying? Until they hear certain songs. And, you know, you ever get that moment where, like, you kind of just, like, break down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you, everything's fine. And then... At, at a second, you just kind of just break down and cry. Like, yo, it, it's true because because a, a lot of people really, you know, don't fill that in. You know what I'm saying? They don't fill fill the void. Track three, daddy issues. I like the way he, he kind of he could kind of like sing a little bit. Uh, that track really didn't do anything for me. I like the production on there, but for the most part, it didn't do anything. Daddy issues, you know, a lot of broken families, um, especially in, in, in urban and areas and you know in the hood and whatnot. Uh, a lot of broken families, so there is always going to be some kind of daddy issues stereotype of black black people. Like in this case, it's Puya. You know what I'm saying? It also happens to white people too. I'm not saying it's just black people. Track four, weighing on me. Is your life worth more than your life savings? Got a hundred rest packed in the basement lately. It make everybody hate me. Why you think I keep it all safe? Yeah. Been up with the 12. She weighing on me. She weighing on me. She weighing on me. Yeah, she weighing yeah, on me. Yeah, this nigga. You see, he got that southern vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she weighing on me. Like, you can tell he's a south side rapper. You are the one that look out for me. Already dead for you. Already there for you. Riding in the whip that I would kill for. Yeah. Slow, never turn it back to when my ears. Man, I, I can't wait to listen to that bitch in the car, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that track right there, he was obviously, talk, he was obviously talking about a female. Um, she weighing on me. Like, yeah, people don't realize that either, man. You know, you have that one chick. What the fuck? Hello? Hi, my name is Michelle with the Health Insurance Enrollment Center. Even though open enrollment has concluded, we still offer ACA compliant plans in order to avoid the tax. Bang, bitch. Aw, oh, man, you ever realize, like, um, when you have a girl, like, a, a, like a, a girl that you love, but then she kind of, like, too much, but you can't really, like, you know, she's just there? Y'all know what I'm saying, man. Like, she's just there, and, and you know, she kind of, like, depends on you. You know, you, fi you finally feel like she's, she's a burden. Like, she's not really helping you at this point. At this point, she's just kind of there. And she's kind of weighing you down, bringing you down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to grind. You're trying to grow. You're trying to chase your dreams. And, and then you got this this kind of sack of weight on your side just, like, bringing you down. I, I, I felt that track. You know, it may not make it. Y'all know I'm the worst person to talk about relationships because I'm not for that shit. But, um, you know, I know how to speak on companionship. You know, you know I know how to speak on relations. So... Uh, I like that track right there, man. Like, uh, like I said, Puyo reminds me of a southern of a southern rapper, bro. Like, I feel like Puyo should have been back in the day in the era, like you know, in the two thousand ones, two thousand twos, because he would have fit in really well with that. Um, I'm glad that he's not a mumble rapper. I'm like, I'm, I'm really glad. I'm really glad that he's actually putting work into his craft. Now, it may not make him blow up as fast as other rappers in in, in you know today's age or whatnot but you do gotta understand that like he's just making real music and he does have a following and that's all you really need in this you need a community someone that you can you know you feel that you're making music for that you're having an impact on and i feel like puya has that so i definitely love that track right there man weighing on me 
cool ass vibes. I know y'all hate when I say that. Vibes. Strike five. Five five. I can be the one that hate. I don't got time to be like. I'm that downside five five for the boys from rolling the dice. I'm a live lavish week. Yeah. Welcome to the south side where them cute hoes do you dirty in my city. We don't fish, but we dip up and get the swerving. Yeah. Rappers been moaning and talking about nothing. They gotta get stumbling over the city. They're killing themselves so slowly. And I feel like we're falling. Run up in your bitch, rock it. Hold me back. Put it on me. I'm a live lavish week. I can be the one that hate. I don't got time to be. See, that's what I'm saying right there. That Suicide Boys, Denzel Curry, he reminds me of that. I do know that he has a um, a mixtape with Suicide Boys that I still need to do the video on. I will get to that. But, um, you know, he kind of reminds me of that style. I like I like it. I like when they rap like that. You know, it's kind of like a fast, offbeat rap. I don't know what kind of style that is, but I'm definitely digging it. The beat, too, I, it's really hyped. I can see why it's a star on here. A lot of y'all probably really fucking with the hype shit. You know, y'all know me, man. I'm, I'm kind of a laid-back kind of dude, man. I do love... Sometimes I do love to get hyped when I'm off the hand dog, but... Um, for the most part, you know, I'm just kind of like that chill, chill, laid back dude that li likes to listen to, you know, vibe music. That's why people like Cuddy and Kanye, um, artists like that always gets me because they have that old school, you know, um, soulful beats. You know, that's, that's the kind of thing I really like. That's why I was fucking with tracks like Way On Me and, um, you know, Void and Aftershock because I felt like, you know, it had that, that Equimini feel. It had that sound. Track six, Handshakes. <laughs> Style. You know, his rap style is really cool. I can't really, I, I don't hate on his rap style. It's just for some reason, <laughs> I just got a snap. Hold on, just chill, just chill. Nah, it's this little white girl, you know, she got a little boyfriend. She live up north, you know, she be telling me, <laughs> she be telling me, she be like, yeah, she been with her guy for like nine years. I told her, like, I respect it. But if your guy ever decide to like end that shit, just know I'm going to be right there. Slide! You know what I'm saying? But um, no nah, man, back to the review though, man. That track right there, though, like I like the I like his rap style. I like how he raps. It comes off the tongue really well. Pause. The thing I think that's just missing for him is it's just he's just not in the right time. Like nobody really wants to hear, you know, real music no more. Everybody wants to hear the mumble rap and stuff that gets you hype. And I see what he did right there, like handshake, like a handshake and and five five is is cool. Like it's they're they're really hype, but for the most part, it's not my type of scene for every day. It's just a certain setting for me that I need to listen to those kind of tracks. So, um, yeah, man, we're just going to keep it like that. Like, I'm just, I don't know what else y'all want me to say with that. Track seven, Don't Bang My Line, <laughs> featuring Knight Lavelle? Nah, that's not Knight Lavelle. Knight Lavelle! I got stitches now. Watch me walk. Do your kindness. You can't track me down. Leave your life up on the floor. No, we don't make a sound. Since I don't got no frame. Why we sniff cocaine? Uh, Night Lavelle for me, like, y'all, if y'all don't know, this is always gonna be my favorite, like, Night Lavelle beat, whatever. Um, it's my shit. Yo, this is my shit right here, you know what I mean? Get into that, you know, y'all like that's the slower side to me. You know, that's what I like. I like that cool shit. I like the I like the laid back stuff. Like Night Lavelle always had a scary voice to me. That man, the, the voice is real deep and it's real kind of like dark. Uh, again, with another banger track. Not something I'm really feeling from him. You know, like I mean, it works for him. I know you just can't stay to the dark trap vibes. You know, for the whole album because it'll get repetitive. You gotta you know give something new, kind of like throw us off a little bit. But for you know to each their own. I'm not gonna like that hype shit from you. I just don't really like that from you. I mean. Suicide Boys, they do it cool. Sometimes Denzel Curry, Denzel Curry do it cool as well. You did, like like I said, I'm not going to lie. I did like the 5-5 five, five track. I like what you did right there. But for the, man, handshakes and don't bang my line, it's just really, you know, eh to me. This is how I feel, my opinion, guys. Come on, man. Don't hate on me. Track 8, Back Off Me. Sound like some Final Fantasy Seven type shit, you know? Hype 
track I can vibe with any time of the day. Like, I can bump that in. I'm about to go to the gym right now. I'm about to, uh, uh, I'm, about to I'm about to hit this shit. I'm about to listen to back off me because I like the energy he brings on that track. And you know what I noticed, too, that I, about his um, project so far that I noticed, like, he doesn't actually like do like any other SoundCloud rapper when they give you these one minute thirty tracks. You know, this track was kind of short. This track was two fifteen, but I mean, I'm gonna let it slide because his previous tracks were three minutes long. The tracks that I liked at the beginning, they're all three minutes long, three minutes long, three minutes long. So um, he's actually giving us real music, and that's also why his album is shortened, which I think is the right thing to do. Give us actually a full fledged track, and I feel like Puya is is kind of doing that. You know, he's not saying like I'm not gonna sell myself out. Because I think that's what SoundCloud rappers do. They just do that to get more streams, get more clicks, stuff like that. And I think it's kind of an advantage when you just release mad music and, and it all sounds the same. I mean, that's just how I feel. Track 9, One Time. Reminds me of like three six mafia. That's kind of the feeling I was getting, you know. Um, uh, but for me, that track didn't do anything. I thought that was track was just dumpster. That's the dumpster of the album, and I'm not trying to be mean about it. Y'all know me, man. Like, I'm not trying to be mean. I just think that it, I don't, you know. Track ten, vintage. Huh? You know, you, you definitely you you definitely in the wrong time, my guy. Like pull you. You know what I'm saying? Like money. Look, money ain't everything, dude. Like money is not everything. Stick to stick to what you do. Stick to your roots. You look. Your fan base hit me up. They've been blowing me up. They say listen to this five five is actually real, and you know I'm starting to agree with them. On your part, man. Like just don't don't sell yourself out, man. Keep making music like this, and you know you will. You will continuously build your community. It may not be as fast as other rappers, but as long as it's going up, progress is better than no progress, you know? And the last track, man, Suicidal Thoughts in the Back of The Cadillac. And you notice he, had, he got his Cadillac sitting on them spokes, you know what I'm saying? That's how they really used to do it back in the day, you know, on the South, you know? Sitting on them deuce, deuce, you know? I, look, I'm not... That was never my type of shit. Like, I'm all, my Asian side come in. I was always a Skyline lover type dude growing up, NSX guy. I felt what, what the hood was trying to do with it, you know? Like, they like they shits like that. You know, they like the shit sitting high. That's cool. Respect to each. You know, each they own. I like the electric guitar at the end. You know, it sound at first I thought it was a game sample. I thought it was some kind of like video game sample from like Sega or something, but um as you can see, he reps his he reps the South. Like he reps Miami. And you can't really hate on somebody that, that does that, man. He's put trying to put it on for your city. And he's doing it in his own way. I always say, man, you get the, the artists like the Big Crits and the Nick Grants and, and the Jids and stuff like that and Earth Gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, not a lot of real rappers from the South are just are, are blossoming as, as some of these 
SoundCloud mumble rappers. It's, it's, it is what it is because you understand the kids don't want to hear that anymore. The one line I think I appreciated in that track was when he said that he doesn't, you know, use the drugs to get away because it, it honestly really doesn't help. And I always say that, like, drugs aren't going to do anything for you. You know, you can't run away from your problems when you take drugs. Like, you know, you, you'll get the, the temporary high and temporary relief for just, what, a couple of hours, maybe even a day, and then it just comes right back. You got to face your issues um, face front. Honestly, the reason I think that kids don't want to listen to um, you know, real rap no more is because of the drugs. Because you think about it, man, like whenever you get these hype tracks and they're talking about lean and all this stuff and it's nothing but like these sounds that make you roll. All everybody wants to do is pop mollies, be on acid, you know, pop Percocets, painkillers, all this stuff. And that's their kind of like getaway. And they feel like this music on the, all these festivals are, are the thing that's just going to make you happy. And in the long term, it's just, it's just hurting you and it's fucking you up. Um, you know, well, and before the way a lot of kids that were struggling, you know, how they came up, the way they handled it was, you know, they listened to soulful music, music that would motivate you to get by, music that, you know, you could, you know, the rappers were speaking through experience and they were kind of like speaking to you, you know, on a relatable level and you could actually just be like, yeah, bro, you're going to get through this. You know what I'm saying? Like motivational music, I would say. So when it comes, you know, Puya, I understand what he's doing here. I just hope he really doesn't change. His hype stuff really wasn't my cup of tea. Like, it was a couple, like two tracks, which was Five Five and the other one. Um, let me see what it was. Back Off Me. I like that. You know, his flow really did well on those beats. Maybe this is the production that he needs on those certain type of hype tracks. But for the most part, when he had like Wayne On Me, Aftershock, Void, uh, Suicidal Thoughts in the back of the Cadillac, I like that, man. I even like his album cover. He has um, um Outcast shirt on. You know, he has the Cadillac sitting on the deuce deuces. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I love what he's doing there. You know, you know, he's embracing his Southern vibe. You know, he, the Southern music. He respects the south he respects his hometown and that's something you really can't hate on man Puya. and another thing like look bro just because you white i know a lot of people like like to bring in the race issue especially now in the era that we live in a lot of people want to bring in the race issue but i think that that's in hip-hop and music that should just be something that's that's pushed away especially in the rap scene you know i, I feel like it only happens in the rap scene too maybe in country you know we had darius rucker you know the black i don't want to do it you know what i'm saying like the black country singer but for the most part like in rap i feel like you know just because i think we're still in the era where like black people are just sitting there like, oh no, rap is our thing. You know, this white boy can't do this. He he don't know what he rapping on. Especially sometimes when, you know, like white rappers, if you want to speak on it, other than like Eminem are just rapping about other things. Like now, you know, people are just rapping about drugs or rapping about anime or rapping about, um, you know, their rich life, stuff like that. And I feel like a lot of people think they're disrespecting the rap scene. And in all honesty, the rap scene, if it's going to change to the mumble rap, it's going to change to what people are rapping about and, you know, the diversity of rap. You know, just because he has long hair and he kind of looked like Jesus a little bit with some bands on, you can't really discredit his music because he's sitting, if you didn't know what color he was and just listen to the music, I'm guarantee you would enjoy it. Being black from the hood, wherever you're from, because he's speaking for you. He's speaking for the city. So we're going to speak it on like that, man. I might be, I'm not being biased too, just because he's from the hometown. I'm just saying, man, look, um, we need to end that shit, man, because it's just... That's, that's ignorant. Like, don't hate on him because he's white. <laughs> We're going to keep it like that. Don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me know what y'all want to hear. Um, get in the comment box below. Let me know, uh, Puya fans, how y'all felt about this compared to that Fat Nick mixtape he had. And uh, let me know if y'all think that Puya is one of the, like, b good rappers out of the South. I think that, you know, right here, listening to this, I feel like he is definitely a cool-ass rapper. But um, his growth is just going to be kind of slower than, you know, the like, mainstream SoundCloud rappers. And that's nothing wrong with that. Um, get in the comment box below. Don't forget, follow me on social media. Let me know what you want to hear. Until the next time, man, it's been your boy Dev. We are out.